Hi there, today I'm going to do like a blood splatter effect and I'm going to demonstrate it. Um, so just ignore the green because that was for something else. Here I've got the red there, it's a crimson red. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a brush, maybe drag it over to the end there. Really water it down. This is acrylic paint. I'm going to water down. really add water to it just add lots of water to it I want it to be really runny I think that might do so I'm just going to put that down there I'll just, just nick to nick to my wife's makeup brush I'm not exactly sure what it's for really but I'm sure someone will know out there but I don't um, it's got these bristles on the front there that's what I'm going to be use so I'm going to just dip that on both sides and then what I'll do is I'll just as you can see like a splatter effect It's really quite effective on certain bits of your drawing. If you wanted to add these effects, and maybe add like other different colours, then it wouldn't be like a blood splatter, but it'd look quite effective, like white on black, that sort of thing. So let me do it closer and see what you could probably have some some kind of control in it, although it's quite limited. generally you can build up sort of concentrated areas like that yeah it's quite effective I mean you could use like a toothbrush or maybe like um, I'm sure they have like small types of brushes to clean and um, like CDs or something like that just like a little brush but you can use like watercolour <coughs> excuse me you can use like watercolour um, or any type of paint really um, but I use acrylic because it's sort of like it dries quite quick and I usually work in acrylics anyway so yeah so that's how we could do like one possible um, blood splatter um, if I can show you a close up like different types you can just experiment just trial and error and just see what you can come up with okay I'll see you in the next video cheers now